I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If oh, we don't, fuck. he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. Who's our lives? This means your lives. I don't got shit to do with him. If we do, we he'll have to die. Maybe we can reason with him. Let's run as far as we can. Uh, maybe we can reason with him. Have you been paying attention? It's obvious my father's well beyond reason. No, this has to end here and now. Apparently, the guy we killed has a, an ancient farmer armor. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Because dragon armor is pretty damn beast. But, let's see. His base armor is 60. Eh, not that great. Also, good my dragon armor. <laughs> then let's face him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. That sounds good. Speak to Isran. Now, it's let's good to, to speak guy. to you again. Hello, good friend. If there's anything at all I can help you with, I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. Farmer? If a line of communication could be established with them. Maybe they can find peace. The fuck? They attack it's you the on only sight. Way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. They're like, they're like rabies infested gorillas. They just want blood. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel and possibly beyond. What can I do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. That's sick. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. Holy the sunbursts baby. would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Arthur said something about using blood? Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Okay. Well. Farewell, friend. Fuck, you gotta go back to the cave. That's retarded. Can we just like fast travel? <laughs> um, give me a second. So apparently, um. If there's anything at all I can help you with, if there's assistance I can provide, yeah, just is, ask. If you ever it's wonder how you want to get more sun hollowed arrows, you can ask Gelibor. And all you have to do is bring him elven arrows and he'll enchant them with the, uh, you know, the right enchantment. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Do it. Can you make me some some sun hulled arrows now absolutely i can only do 20 at a time so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed man imagine if we could do daedric daedric that'd be nuts absolutely i can only do 20 at a time yeah i'm just gonna keep absolutely. doing this absolutely i can only do 20 absolutely i don't even use i don't I can even use only do 20 absolutely i can only do 20 at i don't a even time. use elven arrows so honestly want the i mean do i have anyways uh, 26. I could do one more. Fucking, that's, that's crazy. Let me know. 
Absolutely. I can only do 20... Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time. Yeah, why not? But I see that would be a problem in this case. But you want you want to try this bow? Or just on it? <laughs> uh, all right, so we are pretty much done here. I don't. I'm not sure why we have to head back to the cave when I can just probably fast travel all the way back to Isran. Good lord, that's far. I'm gonna save. What I will do now, though, is I'm gonna go enchant, or I'm gonna uh, increase the bow. Let's head. Let's. I'll do this on camera. Let's head back to my hometown, and uh, let's see if we can increase the bow. Oh, I want, yeah. I have to check if I have any uh any bars. Well, I guess we have to find out first, right? So Oriel's bow, if it's pretty damn good maybe I'll use it I'm just I hope the charges aren't like really low I don't know I'm, I'm fine with my dragon bow maybe I'll use it this one time that's the one thing that uh that, that they sh I think they should add what they did from like fallout is where um you know whenever you get DLC um and it kind of goes against crafting in the, in the sense because you know, you can get the best items just by crafting, really. So there's like no use there's no use exploring any caves or dungeons to look for like a really good weapon. But um I, f I feel like what made Fallout 3 and New Vegas so awesome was the fact that to get better weapons you had to find them. You know? There was no crafting or whatnot. I mean I like crafting but what what they could do is they can just like I guess upgrade. You can just upgrade weapons. Not craft them. Who knows? Only 93? Mine is 144. <laughs> wow. Refine Moonstone. I need Refine Moonstone. Do you have any? Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. What can I help you with? Looking to protect yourself? I want to see if damage. you have some Moonstone on you. You have Moonstone. Oh, you have one. All I need is one. Thank you. Punk. Yeah, I feel like that any weapons you get in Skyrim, whether it be, um, you know, whether it be DLC related or, well, you know, just D DLC related. I feel like it's not going to be useful at all. I mean, because you have craftable weapons and they're going to be a lot better. Then, you know, any weapon you probably you probably will find in DLC. Alright, 87, that's not, that's not bad. Do you have any potions? Potions. Yeah, why not? Do it! Well, I can make my bow a lot stronger. Holy shit. Alright, it's craft. I'll come back. I'll do that later. My bow's strong enough already. I don't even need it. <laughs> wow, why was I talking about weapons? I have no idea. Um, Locket of St. Geob. Give me that. Goodness. Oops. So I got a circle of water, water breathing, but I never used it. I always used that was useless. Uh, alchemy. So I'm gonna drop some stuff off at my house, Serena. Let's fucking go. Yeah. So like I was like I was saying, if Oriel's bow was really unique and like one of the most powerful, well, not most powerful. I'm not, I'm not asking for game breaking here. I'm just saying 144. What? Oh, it does. Wow. It's as strong as Dragon. That's pretty sick. 20 points of stun damage. Mine does 14, so it is, it's stronger. Oriel's bow is stronger. That's crazy. 
Because 20 it does 20 points of sun damage. It only does 14. Plus the arrows. Wow. I'm going to be using the bow. Uh, yeah. Let's see this bad boy. Is it shine? Oh. I was hoping it would shine. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Like I was saying, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll use Ariel's bow for now. Does it only, so it always does 20 damage. Yeah, wow, some damage. That's crazy. Like I was saying, I just hope Bethesda makes weapons in the DLC amazing. You know, strong, not, stronger than Dragon. I don't even care. Just do it. Because I, I, I like crafting, but I like finding unique weapons. Like in Fallout, I just love using... You know, the some of the some of the weapons in there. Like I don't even know the names. I like like in Fallout Three, I used the Lincoln Repeater almost exclusively because it was the best rifle, probably in the game. And then Terrible Shotgun was pretty good too. And uh, yeah, also the mini guns were pretty damn good. Oh, I forgot to make that arrow video. I'm gonna do it right now. Actually, I'm gonna end the video here. So uh, yeah, I just <laughs> just reminded myself. Thank God. I was gonna make a video, video um, right before, uh, what's it called? Right before doing what I was gonna do, but I, I don't think I had a chance because I was still in, you know, the, like the mountains. But uh, yeah, I'll end the video here, and then I'll show you guys how to make infinite arrows. I will make. I'll, I was gonna upload the infinite arrow video right before this, but I'll just, I'll I'll keep it sequential so you guys know, you know, you're not, you're not lost or anything. So. Uh, yeah, check out my next video, which will be Infinite Arrows. It probably will be really short. And then after that, we will continue some more Skyrim, because I am in the mood for some more Skyrim. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.